listening to earbuds, like sharing them, and then watching anime in the back of class. It's so cute. Like, beats any frat sorority couple ever. <laughs> yeah, I'm just trying to find somebody I can watch anime with. <laughs> What's going on everybody? I'm in sunny California and this is another episode of Fung Bros on the Street. Today we are talking about Asian love. So I'm here to ask people today, one, what is Asian love? Two, is there a difference between Asian love and Western love? And three, is one better than the other? I don't know. Guys, I'm looking forward to hearing a lot of funny stories. So uh, let's go see what we find out. I'm gonna paint these scenarios and tell me what you think. This is a more of an American couple or an Asian couple. They know each other, they're at a concert, they're partying, they look over, they make eye contact, they're smiling, they're kind of like dancing with each other, far away from each other. They talk and then they dance the rest of the night together. American. 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 It's American. Girlfriend gets sick. Boyfriend spends eight hours cooking a soup for her to drink. <laughs> Asian. That's Asian. Asian. That's Asian. Asian. Boyfriend, girlfriend love each other. She gets in a car accident, she goes blind. But then she goes into surgery, and then she comes back out and she has eyesight. But now he doesn't, because he gave her his eyeballs. Asian. It sounds like a meme. Asian. That's Asian. I would say, I'd say Asian. Uh, generally, the bad drivers, and <laughs> also... <laughs> Do you guys happen to date more American guys? Has anybody dated Asian? What's the deal? Well, I've never dated an Asian guy, but yeah. I wouldn't like be opposed no, no, to it. I, yeah, I mean, mostly Caucasian, but I have talked to a few Asian guys, yeah. so. Talk I'm to them. These girls over here. What is one of the differences between what is considered a very Asian style of love and American style of love? I remember watching Korean dramas as a kid. I don't know, I just thought it was more intimate, you know, it was more like, you can feel it more when you're watching these movies, right? There's a lot of commercials for like Korean soap dramas, and like those just seem to be like all this like, time will stand still for this love. And that doesn't really seem to happen as much in like American media, because it's more like sex centered and like just like attraction based. For anime girls, they go to this booth and it's like, they decorate with just like a painted wall so it looks like you're inside of some nice castle and there's this like guy who's like cosplayed out to like the nines he's dressed like like a prince or something with like white hair girls will line up just for 30 seconds with him and he'll just like lean in and he'll just like plant his arm right there and the girls just like swoon or something like and they have kissing booths in america but i don't know why asians are kind of like oh we'll, we'll get really close we'll just like blue ball you and then just like leave you hanging like that <laughs> like a lot more romantic like i'm thinking about like naruto is like that's like a big ass love story but then there's like the bachelor in america and stuff and i think that's like not as like romantic and stuff it's a lot more like quick and just get down to business the asian movies i've watched primarily chinese ones all have a focus around family orientation or career practicality americans are more quick to introduce to parents while asians more like inclusive and you kind of keep it between themselves. For Americans in dating culture, it's kind of just like bring them out, go on double dates like every other time. The climax is them like holding hands at the very end of the episode and the climax, no pun intended, for like the Western ones comes like in the first 10 minutes of them just getting right down to business. When I dated someone who was Filipino, like their parents were super formal and like wanted to have dinner with me. Now that I'm dating someone who's like um, white or Caucasian, it's more of like a kind of laid back and less formal experience. You never tell your parents. And then for American, like after the first date, they want you to meet their parents. I think in Asian love, there's definitely a, a greater emphasis on like appearance and outside image. You have to take into account like other people's expectations and other people's like opinions. Meeting their parents is actually pretty different. I think American parents are uh, pretty more, a lot more lax than uh, Asian parents. If you meet like an Asian girl's parents, it's like, it's like a trial. You're like on trial. There's like lawyers probably, you know, it's like there's a pressure. I don't know if you saw that commercial, like the Chinese commercial, where it's like the dude pulls out the business card and everything. It's like you feel like you have to do that. I don't know, it's kind of bad. Just meeting like the parents of like the Asian, it was just like, I felt like I had to validate myself in terms of like, oh, what school do you go to? You know, like how are you doing in classes? LinkedIn profile, resume, gotta know how to cook, treat the girl right. All of those things matter with the Asian family. Asians tend to be uh, more family focused. Mama's boys. Why you say that with that tone? You said, you said mama's boys. Like, hmm. Asian boys, they tend to be more clingy. I feel like their moms spoil them a lot. The Asian boyfriend, what, what Asian was he? Just Taiwanese. Okay. Yeah. They act like they have like big dick energy all the time. Okay. It's kind of a lot. Okay. <laughs> 
Growing up in a very international community in Beijing, China, local guys don't actually like me that much because I'm really out there and like I'm into like fun things, parties, and like I don't think they like girls like that as much. What about you? You said you've um, dated, uh, you date mostly fobs. Yeah, like I have a lot of fob friends. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they have like this concept of like guys should always pay for meals or whatever. When our Asians are like. We can split bills or, you know, equally. What do you think the guys pay for everything? Do you think that also comes with, like, there's also, like, another buy-in, like, in some sort of agreement that, okay, you're going to be down for me, like, you're going to stay by my side. If I, I treat you well and I treat you like princess, I pay for everything. I guess a little bit. Maybe because, like, in the old transition, like, guys are, like, just working hard to earn money and the girls are just, like, housewives and stuff. So I guess that's maybe the reason why. Like, with, like, an Asian girl, it's, like, it's like the long-term game, you know. You gotta be in there for a while, and then I feel like, I feel like with the like American couples, it doesn't take that long. And then like they're also like they're more comfortable and casual with each other too. Like on the non-Asian side, they never define the relationship. It's always like just kind of roll with it. Have you ever seen like those, maybe the fob couples on campus, or or just Asian couples in general? You don't know if they're fobs, where they're like sharing earbuds, listening to anime. I know this one couple where like the boyfriend will come to the girlfriend's classes and sit with them, and then when they're not in class, they're like riding the same skateboard together, laying in the grass together, having picnics together. He was always like right next to me and we were constantly holding hands and then I mean when I was dating other people it wasn't always like that. Listening to earbuds like sharing them um, and then watching anime in the back of class it's so cute like beats any frat sorority couple ever. <laughs> yeah I'm just trying to find somebody I can watch anime with. Do you guys feel like sometimes like the way Americans date is too fast and you're like ah, I don't like like where it's headed there's some sense of it it's hard to get some instant value in a relationship because once things do go down it's hard to build something romantic off of that while asian people tend to wait and be more conservative and then just build some more meaning in front of all the sexuality you got any personal stories of asian love versus non-asian love this asian guy asked me out on a date and by the end of the night i would i didn't kiss him back the next morning i got a venmo request of 40 dollars for the meal. <laughs> and I feel like Asian guys just have that expectation, like that sexual expectation. This past summer I met this girl who is half Asian, half white, and we were like together for like two, three months. I met her Asian mom, right? And she like didn't have the best English and I was pretty ignorant. And so she's like showing me around the house. I'm like, oh, what's this book? She's like, oh, it's Buddhism. And I didn't have a clue what Buddhism was. <laughs> I actually dated um, a banana and he was like, yo, you're too Chinese or Asian. And he's like, okay, let me teach you the American way. And like he started making me watch Disney movies, listen to like Christmas carols and all like those super like basic American things. And that was just, different for me. Which style of dating and love do you guys prefer? Is there one that's better than the other? I'm leaning more towards like the American style type of dating. I think it's just the mix. I think I prefer that. Uh, American and uh, Asian I guess. I like both. I'm Asian American so I think I like would like a combination of like the Asian and American style. Me the American style, like American Asian kind of style. Like Jay Parker, Ki Hong Lee <laughs> kind of style. <laughs> Asian in terms of like culture, understanding what foods I like without me having to explain it. And more Americanized in that they pick like cute dates. Whatever is the natural chemistry with the person that you're with. I prefer the clingy just because I'm a clean person myself. <laughs> it matters more about like what their values are, what their beliefs are, if they match up with mine, if I can learn from them. I'm a lover of culture. I'm not discriminating in any way, but I just feel like when you date another culture, it adds some different spice. Like dating Asian, it was cool, but I just felt like I was in my comfort zone. And for me, I like pushing myself to get out of the comfort zone. Oh, definitely, you're wearing a bait bandana. You definitely like to be pushed out of your comfort zone, I can tell. If a man is wearing a bandana, he is definitely down to date non-Asians, I know that. <laughs> Thank you everybody for watching that video about Asian love, Asian dating versus the American style. This is my big major takeaway from all of these interviews today. There is no right or wrong way to love, but there are definitely, definitely cultural differences. Most people agree that the American style may be a little bit too casual and a little bit too quick, and then the Asian style might just be a little bit too clingy and a little bit lubby-dovey. Most people agree that they would actually want some kind of mixture of in-between. And even for some of the non-Asians that I interviewed, they do respect and would even want to adopt some of those aspects of Asian love into their style. Seems like the Asian style of love is definitely becoming a thing, but you might also need to find that balance. Let me know in the comments below what you think is better for yourself, the American style or the Asian style, or a mixture in between and what that might look like. Until next time, we out. Peace.
Yo, what's going on everybody? Thank you so much for watching that video. Uh, basically, we are gonna be releasing a lot more content that we always wanted to give you guys. We never really had a good way of doing it and that's why we wanna tell you guys that we are starting YouTube memberships. So basically, if you subscribe to the membership channel, you are gonna get tons of exclusive content. You're gonna get exclusive photos, exclusive videos. We're gonna be doing NBA talks, comments on comments. You're gonna be getting merch discounts. Basically, you can just click the join button right there. It is only $4.99 per month and it's gonna go all on our community tab right here so it's exclusive content that you're only gonna see if you're a member but I think I think you might really like it yeah we're gonna be gonna delving really like deep it. into a lot of topics and we got some thoughts man yeah deep thoughts so it's starting on January 30th so go ahead please uh, sign up today and check it out all right everybody thanks for watching that video until next time we out peace, peace.